It's Monday, March 22nd, and you're watching The Great Lost Rewatch. Today we're talking about Recon. We start out in a sideways flash. Sawyer seems to be pulling his favorite con. But then Sawyer says his secret code word, which is LaFleur, and it turns out that he's not a con man, he is a cop, and Miles is his partner. One, that was an amazing twist I didn't see coming. Two, I think this is how we're gonna see Anna Lucia in our sideways world. And three, I want a spin-off, a buddy cop spin-off with Sawyer and Miles, please. As soon as Miles talked about setting Sawyer up on a blind date with his friend, I knew immediately it was gonna be Charlotte. She finds the Anthony Cooper information in Sawyer's drawer and he kicks her out. He feels bad about it later and he tries to apologize and nothing says that I'm genuinely sorry than a giant flower and a six pack of beer. Super classy, Sawyer. While they're sitting in a car, Sawyer tells Miles the absolute truth about Anthony Cooper and then their car gets hit by another car. Of course, it's Kate. The big shocker would have been if it wasn't Kate. On the island, Claire is still crazy. She is like tucking in her squirrel baby. It's on my head. And then she's holding Kate's hand as if to like gain her trust only to do this later. <laughs> Kate is yelling at Saeed for him to help her and he's just watching. Saeed is evil. Kate does get help from somebody else. <laughs> I like how he flung Claire. Then he bitch slaps her. <laughs> After this exchange, Kate and the Loch Ness Monster are having a chat. The most interesting part about that conversation to me was the part when the Loch Ness Monster was saying, I had a mother like everybody else, but things happen. Things that could have been easily avoided and made things different. But I am the way I am because she was crazy. John Locke, whose appearance he has adopted, also had a crazy mother. He also points out that we have a problem now because Aaron has a crazy mother. Meanwhile, the Loch Ness Monster has sent Sawyer over to Hydra Island to do some reconnaissance work from the people from Ajira 316, uh, but his job is really easy because all those people are dead. There is one person over there still alive. Sawyer chases her down and we learn that her name is Zoe. Actually, when they were chasing for a split second, I thought it was Desmond. Her hair was like wild like Desmond seems to be. I don't know. Zoe is a big fat liar and she was not on the plane at all. She came on the sub with Whitmore. There's a door with some locks on it and we're not told what's in it. Lost, you know I love you, but how many times are we gonna have a secret something in a room or a hatch or a box or a coffin that we can't look into? It just drives me crazy. The most popular seems to be that it's either Desmond or Penny or both. It seems like Sawyer is conning Widmore until he has a chat with Kate back on the main island, and his plan is that he's going to pit the Loch Ness Monster and Widmore and their people against each other, and then he and Kate and others from their flight will sneak off of the island. Kate says, but how are we gonna fly a plane off the island? And Sawyer's like, we're not taking the plane, we're taking the sub. Minor hiccups to that plan. Isn't a submarine just as complicated to operate as an airplane? You got Frank Lapidus, who is a pilot, so maybe, maybe take the plane. Speaking of taking a plane, in this episode, the Loch Ness Monster talks about how he and his followers will take Ajira 316 off the island. Really? You're a smoke monster. You need a plane to get off the island? I just find it incredibly funny that the smoke monster needs like an airplane to get around. I thought it was a good episode. It wasn't a great episode. But let us remember that a good episode of Lost is flippin' fantastic compared to most things on TV. Next week's episode is called Abitirno. I think I didn't take Latin. And it means literally since the beginning of time, and we know it's about Richard Alpert. I'm trying not to get overly excited. I'm hoping and I'm betting that something huge is going to be revealed in this episode. I, 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 I who am I kidding? I am so excited. We're gonna need to watch that again. What if the island itself is the crazy mother? Like, this special island produced these two godlike figures. No, okay, I, that as soon as that came out of my mouth, I realized how stupid that sounds. <laughs> Sounded like a good idea up here, but no, no.